Since the beginning of the war in Gaza on October 7th, Israel has called up nearly 300,000 reservists. This was in addition to the regular standing army in which almost 90 percent of Israeli Jewish youth serve. In contrast, among ultra-Orthodox Jewish young men, only about 3 percent are drafted into the Israeli army. This almost blanket exemption from the draft was granted to the ultra-Orthodox so they can study the Torah in religious institutions instead of doing military service. But it is now the subject of heated public debate. Public opinion polls clearly demonstrate that Israelis care deeply about the issue of uh, recruitment and, uh, and are deeply worried about the over uh, the exemption for the ultra-Orthodox uh, community exemption from service. Uh, this has been the case before October 7th, and now, uh, uh, given the war situation and the increasing burden on the serving population, uh, this is extremely disconcerting for the majority of the population. The exemption policy was initiated when the State of Israel was founded over 75 years ago. Then, 400 ultra-Orthodox students received exemptions, while last year that number surged to 66,000. Israel's Supreme Court has repeatedly ruled that these exemptions are discriminatory and demanded that successive governments compel the ultra-Orthodox to be drafted. The court says the change must be made into law by the end of March. But ultra-Orthodox parties are an essential part of Prime Minister Netanyahu's hardline coalition, and they are threatening to bring down the government if their military exemptions are canceled. Israel's chief Sephardic rabbi declared that if a law is passed to draft all ultra-Orthodox men into the military, the men would leave the country. Ultra-Orthodox demonstrations against the army draft have been stormy and sometimes violent. They want us, the Orthodox people, Orthodox people here in Israel, to go to the Israeli army. They have one intention. They want us to be not religious. Therefore, we prefer to die. We don't mind going to prison. We prefer to die and not go to the Israeli army. The ultra-Orthodox live in insular communities, completely separate from secular Israeli society. They say that going to the army could tempt many of the young men to abandon their religious way of life. But there are some voices in the ultra-Orthodox community who favor military service, as long as the army would provide strictly kosher food and keep men and women separate. It's not sustainable to hold such a big community in such a, in such a small state that are not serving in the army, and, um, and, and especially after October 7th. We need the soldiers. The army needs the soldiers. So we need to find a way how to let Haredim join the war, join the army, and serve in the army like everyone, and from the other way, keep their identity and way of life. While the debate rages on whether to end the ultra-Orthodox military service exemption, Israeli lawmakers have proposed increasing military service for both regular and reserve soldiers. This has brought renewed protests against the Netanyahu government and further raised calls for the ultra